camp is important um, because it totally breaks you out of your normal worldview on things. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. Every time I've had a season, every time I've had a moment, the one constant that I've had in my life, besides God and family, is Bayshore. This has been an every year thing, and when I miss it, I miss it. About to see the world in action, what we can be, life with no distractions, we'll get away, this is what we waited for. My favorite thing about Bayshore is probably just the atmosphere here, being with other Christians and just really a place to come have fun and grow in faith. things here about Bayshore um, compared to a lot of other camps that I've researched and talked to is that one of um, at least let's see one two three four uh, right now we offer four different uh, sports camp themes um, each week has a different emphasis you know music camper little kid teddy bear camp um, but we offer um, sports camps basketball camp uh, soccer camp uh, baseball and softball right now uh, so we get coaches uh, from some of the local schools to come in um, this year one of the deans for basketball works with the Detroit Pistons so we get people who are um, experienced within that sport to come and they leave clinics and practices um, five days a week they do games uh, three on three competitions you name it uh, the counselors are ones who play those sports but it's a week where um, you know we can take those kids uh, give them a really good quality sports education, um, but also minister to their faith as well. Uh, you know, a lot of, uh, and I, I say this uh, with a bias, you know, I was a music camper, so for me, camp meant singing, camp meant doing the uh, gymnastics and the production uh, that we got to do there, tap dance, drama, all of that. That was camp to me. For these kids, camp means basketball. Camp means working on drills. Um, and learning about their faith too. The difference here is that um, kids are going to get at least collegiate level training or better along with the, the Christian ed stuff that we do. And and I was um, I was talking to with a mom who was checking in her, her camper yesterday and she said uh, this is his first time here and he loves soccer but I, but I'm just hoping he's going to learn a little bit more about the Bible when he's here. And I said, well, he's going to learn a little bit more about the Bible, but he's going to go home a better soccer player, too. My name's Thad Van Tiflin, and I do this because not only do I get to teach the kids about God, I just love to be with kids. I love how kids brighten my day. They really fill me up with energy. My first summer, I just loved it. Um, I loved the atmosphere. I loved the people I worked with. I love being able to work with kids every day, and so... Um, I've been here ever since. <laughs> um, I want kids to understand through a week here at camp what it's like to have a whole bunch of people that you can interact with and share your faith with and still have it be uniquely yours. It just gives you space and I think kids desperately need space right now to be who they really are. Here at camp, we will never make you do anything. We will never force you to make a decision. We won't guilt trip you, some will, we don't. Um, because we want whatever's happening in your heart to be spirit-led and authentically given to you. Uh, because I don't want you to come away from this camp and 20 years from now not know Jesus. Because what Jesus has done in my life is unbelievable. And that doesn't mean my life is perfect, certainly. It doesn't mean that I have all the answers, but what it does mean is that when I'm out there living my life, I'm not out there alone. 
I really like um, worship in the tabernacle. Um, it's usually hot and sweaty, but I mean, that's where you connect with God, so <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you're going through tonight. No matter what fight you're facing in your life tonight, I want to let you know that Jesus is for you, that you are more than a conqueror, that he has gone before you, that he has already fought the fight for you. And he says, be still. The more time we spend on this project, the more we have that doubt creeping in that this is for nothing and we like can't really figure out why we're doing this and we can't find purpose in it. But I mean, just sitting in chapel tonight and watching kids make really big decisions about who they want to follow for the rest of their life, being Jesus, not the world or themselves. Um, people don't get to see that every day and I get to see that every day. And people at camp get to see that every day. And I want you all and I want everyone to know about what's happening in chapels like this all over the place right now because I just I feel very privileged to be able to sit in and witness that and that's why we're doing this that's what we want people to see and know is that thanks for watching subscribe <laughs> <laughs> I got to go for it. They definitely get a free t shirt, a video of the week, and a dairy barn coupon. <laughs> and a closer relationship to Jesus Christ.